Well, it would appear that everything I was working on has been defeated and that my life is wiped out and there's no way of getting out of this situation. Oh well, I did what I could and I did it well. Love Factory. Love and affection and happiness every day. Set a good example. Yeah, the baddies win. That's just the way it is. Most people are just either unaware of just how corrupt things are or if they are aware of it, they're too scared to do anything about it. People that have offered to help me have just vanished without coming back to me without help. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm resigned to it now. It was a great adventure. I can't believe it's nearly seven months since we were kicked out over there from the love factory. Seven months, no help. When I say Her Majesty's government, no matter what colour or party, does not want cannabis in circulation. No. Anyway, looking at the news, all this uh, extremist, uh, radical, Islamic terrorism, uh, bollocks, you're in for a bad time. You've got a bunch of very evil people creating a false reality for you and you're pretty much all under control because you've all got dark secrets. <laughs> I haven't. <sighs> I'm sad, yeah. But then again, death is part of the picture. No, it's so clever, man. All they actually had to do was neutralise the cannabis. You know what I mean? Take real cannabis off the picture and they say, oh, there's none of that around. Do you want some of this? It's good. It's either spice or fake cannabis or cocaine or something else. Gotta remember, not many people actually want a sane, happy, cooperative, sociable world. Most people just want to forward their own interests and don't really care about the rest. That's the way it is. I was an idealist, a visionary. Nah, it was a lot of fun. I liked the dancing. Sex was overrated, but I got all the best where I could. Yeah, don't think I'll say anymore because I don't like looking at tears myself. 